hello guys welcome back to the channel so today we are going to discuss uh, one more important topics of csaps uh, basically uh, the probability of this question being asked in the interview is too high uh, so along with the delegates people uh, i mean interviewer basically uh, will ask you about the generics too so what is the generics and like what are what are its like uh, uh, advantages of uh, using it in c sharp <laughs> Okay, so generic is basically used for the type safety and code reusability and it was introduced in uh, c -sharp version 2.0 uh, and onwards, okay. So it was introduced in 2.0 but after that uh, it is still available in all the c -sharp, uh, version. So what I will do is I will I will try to like show you what our code could have been without generics and how we can like uh, reduce the number of codes or we can use the same logic if you are using the generics, okay. So first thing we are going to do is uh, without using the generics, okay. So let's see without using generics, okay. So what I will do is I will write two methods, okay. First method to compare the strings and the second one will be to compare the integer type, okay. And uh, I will be like calling it from the main method to, uh, to see what, what exactly is the output and I will put the return type of both the methods as boolean, okay. So let's let's create both the methods. So first method I am going to create uh, which will return you the true or false if integer is equal or not, okay. So uh, let's, let's write r integer equal okay so this is your method name and then what i'm going to pass here is i'm going to pass two integer okay so int x comma int y okay so here what i'm going to check so i'm going to simply so i mean if you are like a beginner then i can i can tell you like uh, you can write something like that if x is equal to is equal to y okay in this case what you are going to do you are going to return true okay we could have done it in one line also so that that thing i can tell you i mean i can explain you in the next part when we'll be using generics or else may uh, you can return false okay so this is about the integer so here we are comparing the integer value if it is equal we are going to return true else it is going to return false okay similarly we can write uh, one more method right we can write one more method for comparing the string so let's write that also so public static static bull no way okay static bool uh, r what i can write r strings okay equal so here i'm going to pass two string okay a string uh what i can do num1 or uh, let's do an pair one comma or uh, string pair two okay so from main method i'm going to pass two variable of uh, type string and then i'm going to check if these two are equal or not okay so if uh, both the strings are equal okay then I'm going to return true here. Return true, okay. Else, I'm going to return false, okay. Now, what happened? Uh, let's create one static void main or void main, okay. So, let me just create that too. So, from this one, I'm going to call both these methods, okay. So, I will be writing something like bool and then i'm going to capture the result of integer one so let's write result of int is equal to and i'm going to call this method okay so i'm going to pass four comma four okay then uh, let me pass uh, one more value one more let me call this method one more time by passing two unequal number okay uh, let me write uh, result integer two okay and let me call uh, the second method also which is r string equal okay so let me write a string r e s 1 is equal to and let me call this a string method here so this is like uh, I, I can put the name here so let me put pankaj comma ramesh okay okay so why it is throwing you the error uh, a string variable right so just a second, r string equal. What is the error it is showing? They're not implicit. Okay, there are String. Okay, okay, got it, got it. So basically, the return type is bool, right? So I need to store that in bool only, not a string. Because it's going to return you true or false only, okay? For the second type, uh, let me write res2 is equal to. I'm going to call the same method, but this time I will be passing the same name, okay? So let me pass here goa and then here also. Oh, okay and uh, then what i will do is i will just write here like uh, okay i will i will show you guys like what actually this is returning okay i will not be using console dot write line here okay 
so let me just directly directly run this program okay but before that i need to comment it out uh, the one which we have discussed in the previous session because one project can have only one main method okay so that would have thrown the issue so let me just start it so this is something uh, you have to write if you don't know the generic concept okay we can generalize this method uh, generalize this class and we can create a common method uh, which which uh, handle both the things so let's see uh, what is the result of the first one so it should return true actually okay so the result is true as you can see for the second one the result should be false so yeah it is false okay for this one the result should be false res1 okay so it is false okay res2 is true because we have provided the same string okay so that is that is how like you can uh, uh, work with the csap and dot net if you do not know the generic so uh, what we have seen here is uh, we are using we are creating two different methods for the same purpose which is unnecessarily uh, creating a lot of uh, lines of code so we can uh, we can remove it and we can use simple as generic uh, method okay so that is where the generic concept comes into the picture it so let me do one thing okay let me remove all these things okay and uh, i will write here one thing so let me do one thing let let me uh, keep this method okay so, and not delete this method so we, we can uh, like uh, solve everything with a single method we can create a generic method let me remove this one also so yeah this is a flat method now so here what i will be doing is i will be passing uh, so there is something called tuple or t type t okay so here we can create this method a generic method which can accept any type so let's say type of x i mean tuple of x t of y so t can be either integer it can be either a string or it can be anything okay now uh, i think it is expecting some true false so let let gives uh, let let me give it uh, x dot okay equals and then y okay so this is one way another way of comparing and resulting i mean returning the value in true or false okay so by doing this you are making sure it is returning true or false so if x dot equals y it is going to return you true else it is going to return you false okay if if this statement doesn't hold true so let me call this method so this this is the generic method we have created okay so how to use this method okay so let me first uh, do one thing let me first compare uh, this method for an integer value okay so build a uh, result of integer okay and then i'm going to call this method so how to call it see i will be calling this method okay and then here I'm going to pass the integer okay so uh, this is the integer I'm going to pass and here I'm going to provide the value okay so the value what I'm what is the value I'm going to provide uh, provide for this okay so what what could be the integer it can be 4 comma 4 okay so this is done this result of integer should be able to call this method and it should return you true value okay let me call uh, the same method same generic method for a string also so I'll be writing here result of str okay string and then inside this so uh, what what is the data type i'm going to provide so it should be a string right so a string and then uh, this can be let's say goa comma goa okay done so now let me put one breakpoint here okay and then let me run it okay so see how simple we can we can uh, create the lines of code if you know the generics okay so we have created a generic method and we are using it for a different different purposes so let's see okay it, it went uh, went inside for the first type which is in teaser so see what it has written ideally it should return you true yes so it has returned true okay for the second one also it should go inside okay so go and on go are equal right so it should return you true okay so it has res uh, resulted and uh, return you true value so this is this is what uh, guys uh, the generics is all about uh, okay so uh, if you like the video please uh, hit a like button and subscribe the channel or agar aapko lagta hai ki uh, i can i can like uh, explain you in hindi also apart from the english then write that in through the comment box